What's up guys, Isaac here. And I wanna make this video real quick in um, response to a comment that one of my subscribers made. And this subscriber said that he understands that we shouldn't worry about things that are out of our control. We shouldn't worry about it. He understands that from a logical perspective, but he wants more practical ways of dealing with it. And this is important because many people fail to understand that understanding something from a logical perspective is only one element of complete understanding. It's only a fraction to a bigger element is the emotional aspect of understanding. For example, everyone logically understands that smoking is bad for you. And yet there's millions, possibly billions of people that smoke. Everyone understands that eating junk food is bad for you. And yet everyone eats junk food. Everyone understands that kale shakes are really good for you. But how many people have kale shakes? Logical understanding is only a small element. The emotional aspect is more important. So in regards to worrying about things that you can't control, you're dealing with an elusive enemy, my friend. You're dealing with thought. And the reason I say thought is elusive is because thought is not completely conscious. You always hear the example, of if I tell you, think about a pink elephant. What do you think of? Think of a pink elephant. Now, was that conscious? Probably not. You probably didn't do it consciously. It just happens. So when you're dealing with thought, you have to understand that you're not going to completely get rid of the worry. You're not going to completely get rid of the worrying thought. However, there is some good news. You can't diminish its strength to the point of it being irrelevant. Imagine a fly as being the thought. You can get to the point where the fly is so minuscule and so small that you don't even bother hitting the way. It's you don't even notice it. It's there, but it doesn't it doesn't mess with what you're doing. So that's what you do with thoughts and worrying. And the way you deal with this is you have to cultivate a greater level of mindfulness, of awareness. So let me give you an example to really paint my paint a picture here. Let's say that you're insecure about your height. Let's say you're someone who's maybe 5'5", five, five, and your height's a big insecurity of yours for the past few years, ever since you've been an adult. Let's say you're going out with the boys, some of your friends are six feet, six four, and you're going out to the club to talk to some chicks, right? And let's say you see one that you want to talk to, but she's taller than you, and now the insecurities start hitting it. You start worrying about something you can't control. For this particular example, your height. So how do you deal with this? Well, as I said before, you need to go into your body. You need to become more mindful. So you can start feeling your hands, start feeling your legs, the cessation of your feet to the ground. You can start looking around the room, noticing all the small details of the room, focusing on your breath, focusing on your heartbeat, focusing on anything, anything else besides a thought. Because whatever you focus on, that's where your energy is going to go. And we all know the first law of thermodynamics, don't we? Well, I do. I've got freaking thermodynamics textbook over here. The conservation of energy. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed. You can only transfer it. So transfer the energy from being stuck in your head to going into your body and you diminish the strength of the thought. I know it sounds very esoteric, sounds very wishy-washy hippie, but this is the practical ways of dealing with it. This is how I've, I've dealt with it because I too have worried about things I can't control. I remember when I was younger, I used to worry. I used to always have a thought. Whenever my parents left me, whenever my parents went to the shops, I was, for, for the, I don't know why, but always had a thought that, oh, what if they die today? Today's the day they're gonna die, which of course is a terrible thought to have when you're a kid. But as I start growing up, whenever this thought popped up in my head, I start using these methods of focusing on something else, whether it be the video games I'm playing, whether it be my breath, my walking, putting energy into something else, and the thought strength diminish. It was still there, but it diminished. And if you do this frequently enough, your brain starts to disregard the thought altogether. You just be like, oh, that thought again or that insecurity again, forget about it. Don't worry about being five foot. 
and this isn't only applicable to of course height this is for anything that you might be worrying about that you can't, you can't control maybe you had a job interview and you're not sure if you did well or if you totally blew it and you have to wait three weeks for the results or something and so your brain always going off oh did you do well did you pass did you do shit something you can't control it's already been done you can go into your body and focus on your breath focus on your senses your senses that you've been given and trust me the worrying will go away will diminish so that's a practical way of dealing with worry especially worrying about things that you can't control right so if you like that video make sure you like it make sure you subscribe leave a comment down discuss if you have any other ways of dealing with this to help our buddy out also if any of you guys have more questions that you need answered that you feel will help everyone else around here help us improve get better become beasts leave them down below and i'll give my best chop at answering it until next time guys peace Just do it!